eat while I sleep through my nose. These days, her treatment plan allows her to eat real food and enjoy a healthy, active life. But starting this week, the province has given her and all other drug plan recipients okay, until Siri, the end of the year to transition to medications that are similar but cheaper. So it's a little stressful thinking that I'd be forced to switch off a medication that's working for me. Ontario is the eighth Canadian jurisdiction switching patients from a complex class of drugs called biologics to ones known as biosimilars. Both are used to treat conditions like Crohn's, colitis, and rheumatoid arthritis by curbing inflammation that can damage someone's organs or joints. Toronto pharmacist Kiro Maze. The medications are almost identical to the original and they're just as effective. But some physicians warn it's not always that simple. If you choose a group of people who are doing well on the, their biologic and then force them to switch, most too far. So says Dr. Paul Moyetti, president of the Canadian Association of Gastroenterology, but... A few do not do well. And uh, this is shown by randomized trials. Both types of drugs are approved by Health Canada and deemed interchangeable by the European Medicines Agency. The big difference is cost. Jim Keon is with the Canadian Generic Pharmaceutical Association, a group representing biosimilar drug makers that's been pushing governments to make the switch. Biosimilars come on the market and they're selling at 25 up to 50 percent less. Alberta alone estimated there would be nearly 400 million dollars in savings over four years, while Ontario officials say the swap will allow the government to fund more new drug therapies and to bring innovation to the healthcare system. Broader benefits aside, the fear for Roman is that she could be an unlucky patient whose symptoms end up coming back. But if I'm not like most people, that's something that I don't really feel the need to find out more until I want to find out. All before Ontario's year-end deadline. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Caledon, Ontario.